Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will see how we can download and install WordPress locally in macOS. So let's see how we can do that. For that, let's jump into our computer screen. And there we go. So here, let me quickly open internet browser here. And there we go. Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type WordPress and then I'm gonna type flywheel. So WordPress by Flywheel is one of the easiest method to install WordPress inside macOS. So that's why we are going with it. Now let's go down and click on localwp.com. And not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide the link of this website in the description of this video. Now what I'm going to do here is let's click on download. And then here we need to choose our platform. So most of Mac computer now comes with Apple Silicon. So we need to select this and then here we need to fill up this simple form. So you can fill up your detail and then here you can mention the organization type and let me also put my email address and then we need to click on get now. And there we go guys. Here we can see the process of download has begun. So let's wait for the download process to get completed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this file that took me to this download page. Now let me make a double click on it. And now let's go here on the top in finder and click on application. And here we should be able to find this local. Let's click on it. Now you will see that we will be opening WordPress for the first time. Let's click here on open. And there we go. So here you can see one of my existing site that I have created. Let me actually delete that. Now I'm going to show you how we can set it up from starting. So you will see this kind of interface. Now you need to click here on create a new site and then here you will see these options. The first one says create a new site from scratch. Another one is more of choosing a template. And then the third one is let's say if you already have WordPress site created, you can simply select the zip and can install it here. Now in this particular scenario, let's go with the first option, which is create a new site. Now let's click on continue. And now here I can give my site a name. Let's give it a technoholic. And if you click here on advanced option, here you can make further customization. In my particular scenario, I would like to keep all these settings as it is. So let's click here on continue. And now here we can see the environment setting. So here we are selecting the PHP and for web server, we are going with NGINX and then we can see for database, we have SQL. If in case you would like to customize it, you can simply click on custom instead of prefer. And then from here, you can select the PHP version. You can also select whether you would like to go with NGINX or Apache. And then in case of database here, we have got SQL. So just to avoid all these hazel, I'm going to go with preferred method, which is going to give you one of the most reliable configuration. Now let's click here on continue. And then um, here I'm going to quickly create a username and password. And again, if I click here on advanced option here, you will see whether you would like to create a WordPress multi-site or you would like to create just a normal website. In my particular scenario, I'm going to disable this WordPress multi-site. And now let's click here on add site. Now all you need to do is wait for a while till local WP or WordPress get installed in your machine toast. And now here we need to provide our credentials. So let me quickly do that. And now all we need to do is to wait till the WordPress get installed in your machine toast. And there we go, guys. Seems like we are about to install or we already have installed it. Now let's click here on open site and let me actually minimize it. And there we go. So here we can see it looks like this. And the good thing here is the URL. I mean, this URL, I really love it. I'm not going to enter any local host or, you know, any particular IP. This look quite clean. And then um, let me actually access my admin panel that also you can access from here, which is WP admin. And here you need to enter your ID and password that we have just created. 
and I'm gonna say never for this website and there we go now we are in our WordPress dashboard ready to customize our website now it's totally up to you you can create new posts you can create new media or you can change or upgrade your appearance by downloading new theme so let me actually go here add new theme and let's go with this astra i really like it and there we go we have installed it now i'm gonna activate and now let's have a look on our site which now looks slightly more minimalistic more polished and more premium as now we are using astra based fonts and other graphics and that's all guys from my side in this video we have seen how quickly and easily we can install wordpress in our mac os in our upcoming videos related to wordpress we will cover more in-depth video related to wordpress I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.